Hi, we're Jennifer and Rebecca from Daily Wonder. You'll notice in your daily curriculum guides that there's always a portion dedicated to math. So we want to show you some fun math activities that you can do with your child. Beginning in your third unit or month of grade one, you can start to tell math stories in your math minute for each day. You might provide your child with a basket or a bag of gems or stones or some kind of material that they can use to count. I have rocks today and I'll tell a little story that you could use. Once upon a time, Fox Boy was out for a walk in the woods. He saw some gems on the side of the path and he picked them up and put him in his little satchel. Two, he found. On he walked down the path, skipping and jumping over the roots and the rocks. And soon he found two more gems, which he added to his satchel. How many does he have now? You will ask your child and they'll say, four. That's right. And on Fox Boy went merrily down the path. Soon he saw a special stump with two more gems, which he added to his satchel. How many does he have now? Six, your child will say. That's right. Soon Fox Boy saw two of his friends up ahead. He decided, I'll share my gems with my two friends. He sat them down and he shared them evenly between his two friends. How many did each of the friends get? You'll ask your child. One, two, three. They each got three. And on the story goes. This is a really fun activity that you can do with your child in grade two or three once they've learned the concept of place value. It's an auditory math game, so that means your child is going to close their eyes and listen really carefully with their ears. So you can find three different sounding objects in your house. For my purposes, I am using wooden sticks to count as units. So if I tap, that counts as the number three. I'm using spoons to count by tens. So that would be 10, 20, 30. So together, I could come up with a number that I want my child to calculate in their head. And then they would say 43 and you would say you are correct. So wonderful. Then you can go up to the hundreds. So I'm going to use the ukulele. One pluck of the string would count for a hundred. And your child would say 431, and they would be right. This is my absolute favorite math activity. It truly shows the wonder of numbers, and I cannot believe that more of us as adults did not learn this as a child. It's a great activity for grade twos or threes, and also a great um, activity to set up because you can get the tree ring, get some sandpaper, sand it down, and then nails to hammer in. 10 nails that go around starting with zero, one, two, three, all the way back. And then when you reach nine, the zero becomes 10, the one becomes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then the zero becomes 20, and so on. So for our purposes, we'll take the three times tables and we're going to be practicing our multiplication of threes. So we start with zero, zero, counting by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36 the wonder of numbers. This is a really fun activity for students who are in grade four, five, six, seven. And for our purposes, it's called scratch 25. You could call it scratch 10, 20, 30, whatever number you choose. So here's the concept. I'm gonna ask Rebecca to choose four numbers between one and nine. Any four numbers between one and nine. Six, two, eight, three. 
These are the four numbers that she's allowed to use and with any of the four processes, adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing, she has to come up with math equations that will allow me to scratch off these numbers. These will be your answers. I'll go first. For example, six plus two is eight. I can get rid of eight. Your turn. Six plus three is nine. Correct. As we proceed, you can see at first it's easy to get rid of numbers. At the end, you'll probably end up with three or four very tricky ones in which your child is going to have to come up with three-step processes. It might involve adding, multiplying, and dividing, but it gets very exciting and intense towards the end. So let's try two more. Six times three is 18. Correct. And it might look like you could do something like eight times three is 24, take away two is 22. And I think you can see where it goes from there. We love these math games. We hope your child has fun with them too. Thanks for joining us.